Bobby Slick Leonard. Bob Leonard of Indiana, quarterback of the champions of the Big Ten, a team man, a clutch performer, and a great outside marksman. National champion. The wildly happy Hoosiers of Indiana are America's NCAA champions. ABA legend. Naismith Hall of Famer. Boom baby! Bob Slick Leonard! An Indiana icon who nearly wasn't, but for a dentist trained at the IU School of Dentistry. Dr. Mast changed my life. Bobby Leonard grew up in the poorest section of depression-ravaged Terre Haute, Indiana. His home was a series of shacks along the railroad tracks. Surviving day to day was the priority. Medical care of any kind was a luxury the family couldn't afford. Never went to a dentist. Really didn't know, I didn't know what a toothbrush and toothpaste were. Just didn't have it. Just didn't have it. When my teeth really got bad, I went through a lot of suffering. They, they got to a place where they broke off uh, they were rotten, and I can remember these two front teeth. They were infected, and my face would swell up. And at night, I would take a straight pen and punch up through there to relieve the pressure. Now, I'm going to tell you, that's pain. I can't imagine anybody going through that. So that hurts. Very hard to talk about. The very few pictures that we've seen of our father back then, school pictures or something along those lines, he doesn't smile in any of the pictures. He was embarrassed. I never smiled. If I did, I put my, my hands over my mouth. Well, see, that has, that has an effect on your personality. You kind of withdraw. The life changer came at the end of Leonard's sophomore year in high school. John Val, the print shop teacher, called the boy into his office and gave him an envelope. He said, now I want you to go downtown and see Dr. Mast. Well, I didn't look in the envelope until I got down there. But he had put $150 in that envelope. The rest is history. The rest was up to Dr. Glendon Mast a Shipshawana native and 1926 graduate of the IU School of Dentistry, Mast would go on to a 45-year career in Terre Haute. On that fateful day in 1948, he pulled all of Leonard's top teeth and fitted him with a denture. It took all day. It affected a lifetime. When I got this upper plate, it was one of the happiest days of my life. It changed my life. The new teeth offered more than pain relief and a psychological sell. Within two years, Leonard had grown nearly a foot and earned a scholarship to Indiana University. There, he would win a national championship and something so much greater. Yeah, I met my wife, Nancy. When we were freshmen at IU. Yeah, I'd had my teeth fixed by then. She probably wouldn't even have taken a look at me. We just celebrated our 61st wedding anniversary. He's never forgotten where he's come from. Uh, still to this day in his closet, uh, those teeth uh, that he got replaced, uh, those original set of false teeth, if you will, are up there in that closet every morning when he opens it up to put his watch on or his, you know, do what, you know, whatever he's got in there. Uh, he, those are there to remind him where he came from. Dr. Mast was an IU man. And it's one IU man taking care of another IU man. Dr. Mass's legacy would endure as well in his son and grandson. Both would also graduate from the IU School of Dentistry, carrying on the compassionate family tradition. We dentists can do this every day through orthodontics, prosthodontics, cosmetic dentistry, or even just good composites on the anterior teeth. I mean, you can tell the difference to people come in and they're, you know, kind of look down, don't want to smile, and when, when you finish, they're just so excited, all they want to do is smile. For many, that smile lasts a lifetime. 
Indiana Hoosiers. If I were to talk to people that were interested in going into dentistry, if they were fortunate enough to be accepted to the IU School of Dentistry, I would say that I challenge you to find one person throughout your dentistry career that you can help as much as Dr. Mast helped Bob. We all have to give back. And Dr. Mast did more than give back. He gave him everything. In August of 2015, Indiana University and the state of Indiana approved a 45,000 square foot building addition for state-of-the-art clinical facilities and the architects and contractors are busy at work. To maintain IU's tradition of excellence, private dollars are needed to offset decreasing state funding. Alumni and grateful patients who continue to support the life-changing impact of IU dentistry are greatly appreciated. A dentist from the IU School of Dentistry changed my life. And I'm sure that dentists all over the state of Indiana have changed a lot of people's lives. You know, I would support the IU School of Dentistry. It's a wonderful thing for the people of the state of Indiana.